In a previous video, I had mentioned that in our storage device, we get to save our files, usually organized in folders. Well, this is where the finder shines. Currently, what you see on my screen is just an empty desktop. I don't see any other windows. If I go down to the very bottom of the dock and then I click on the finder icon, what the finder does is opens up a new finder window. And these finder windows are the ones that are gonna help us navigate this storage device so that we can find our files. So let me jump back to the finder and let's talk about the elements that make up these finder windows. On the top and the left hand side of the finder window, you're gonna notice that we have a number of icons. At the very top, we have the toolbar and on the left hand side, we have the sidebar. Both the toolbar and the sidebar have a number of elements that you can customize depending on how you wanna use your own Mac. Now, the main big area of the Finder window is where we get to see our files and where we get to navigate and explore the contents of our storage device. The toolbar at the very top allows us to change, for example, the way the Finder window looks. So clicking on these buttons just changes the way we see the contents of this particular window that I'm at. So the tools allow you to perform actions on either the way the Finder window looks or the files themselves that you see on the window. The sidebar contains a collection of shortcuts that represent the locations or the places that you use the most. For example, clicking on the Documents button will actually take you to the Documents folder for your account. And now the Finder window shows us all of the documents that we have in that location. Not only that, but if you see underneath, we have all these different tags the tags will allow you to find all of the items or all of the documents that have been tagged with that specific label. So for example, clicking on the red tag, in my case, currently only shows the three items that have been labeled with the red tag on my computer. So in other words, the sidebar contains a collection of the places that we use most often while the toolbar at the very top contains a number of tools that we can use to either change the way the window looks or some actions that we can perform on the files themselves. 